There are many toys players are looking forward to seeing in Chapter 4. This of course includes a reappearance of Huggy Wuggy, but some other minor characters as well. The orientation book might actually hint at an appearance of Boogiebot, and it looks like he'll play a bigger role than we thought. The orientation book is broken up into different sections for each character. For example, Catnap would be found in the Smiling Critters section, while PJ would be next to Mommy Longlegs. But Boogiebot is different from all the other toys, and actually appears in numerous different sections. In this image, we can see Boogiebot with the title Keep Our Company Secure. It's a reference to his responsibility as the security guard at Playtime. At the bottom, it says, A reminder that under the terms of your employment with Playtime Co., you are not to discuss anything that happens inside the factory with anyone. If you thought you saw something odd or disturbing, perhaps something that might be interest to law enforcement, it's important to remember that no, you didn't. This practice of keeping people quiet is Playtime's specialty, but it's interesting that they use Boogiebot as the face of this message. We know that Playtime in the past has used toys to dish out punishment to certain employees. Boxy Boo was used once in this manner when a staff member was tricked into being eaten by him. It's possible that Boogiebot might have served a similar function, ratting out employees that try to blow the whistle on the experiments going on at Playtime. We know Boogiebot is able to monitor people with his technology and it could be his responsibility to terminate any traitors. While his body doesn't appear to be threatening, you can only imagine how strong a bigger body Boogiebot would be. One could argue he might even be stronger than Boxy Boo. The poster also has a creepy message that says secrets are a promise, which really drives home Playtime's need to withhold information. The most mysterious thing about Boogiebot is whether or not he is actually a robot. There's a lot of mystery surrounding his creation, and discussion on whether or not he's an orphan. When it comes to Catnap, we know that he was once an orphan called Theodore. We also know that once upon a time, Mommy Longlegs was called Marie. Boogiebot, however, probably holds the most mysterious background, since we don't really know if he has human parts inside of him. In this next image, we can see just how popular he was when it came to his toy sales for Christmas. From the people who brought you Huggy Wuggy, here's Boogiebot, the cutest little robot you'll ever see. He loves music and loves to party, but he also knows when it's time to stop partying and help with the cleaning. Order now, as we expect very high demand for Boogiebot. Boogiebot was surprisingly popular amongst kids during internal testing. If we notice how he's being marketed, it's more so as a slave who should be doing chores. His design is meant to tend to the child's needs and put his own desires second. Huggy Wuggy, for example, was meant to hug the child, which is why he had Velcro straps on his hands. His purpose was to offer comfort for children, whether they were happy or sad. Considering Boogiebot's name, we can assume his favorite thing to do is dance. If we ever were to encounter him, there's a high possibility our challenge would involve dancing. Boogiebot as a boss would be the most terrifying one yet. And I can see Bob Entertainment making the boss's atmosphere similar to Mr. Lights. Boogiebot also appears again in the book, except this time surrounded by other toys. The image reads, Silence you electronics. Around him are several toys that appear to be upset with his presence. These toys are Cat Bee, Brawn, Bunzo Bunny, PJ, Kissy, and Candy Cat. From what we know so far, all of these toys except Kissy and Missy would be considered hostile. It's likely that if we do encounter Boogiebot in Chapter 4, it would be as a potential ally or perhaps a neutral party. Sort of like Kissy Missy, who won't really attack us, but is slightly hesitant about our company. There is also always the Ollie theory, where Boogiebot is in close communications with Poppy 24-7. This similar group of toys also shows up in a separate image with Boxy Boo. Ironically, Boxy Boo is holding a box with Kissy Missy, Cat Bee, Prawn, and now this time, Huggy Wuggy. Seeing the amount of attention Boogiebot is getting in these pages, he's undoubtedly going to make an appearance sometime soon. But he might not be final boss worthy, like how Catnap and Mommy Longlegs were. And speaking of Mommy Longlegs, Boogiebot might get a similar treatment to how Mommy's underlings worked. Do you remember the game station? In the game station, Mommy was the boss of PJ, Bunzo, and the Mini Huggies. All of those toys did as she asked and were terrified of opposing her. If Boogiebot was to be an antagonist, Mob Entertainment might go to the game station route and have him work as a henchman. That means that Boogiebot would have to be working under a toy that is multiple times more powerful than him. Can you take a guess to who Boogiebot would work for? The most likely toy would have to be Boxy Boo. This is also supported by a recent interview the creators of Poppy Playtime had a few months back. When asked the question, could you share anything about what players can expect from Poppy Playtime Chapter 4, they said this. The new villain for Chapter 4 is the one Seth and I had been most excited about for quite some time. It will be a fan favorite, and the design takes every unique advantage of being a Poppy Playtime toy monster from the material choice to the animation. Beyond that, 
fans can expect the highest quality, most stable, most optimized, and the best user experience of any of our games yet. We've done a lot of work to bring in top talent into MOB, and the results of bringing in that talent are only starting to take shape. The toy will be a fan favorite, and aside from Catnap and Huggy, Boxy had been one of the most requested toys to date. If Boxy were to show up as a final boss, that means he's going to need some other toys to guard him. We can see where toys like Brawn and Boogiebot fit in, as they would be the perfect antagonists to fight against. Or maybe instead of Boogiebot protecting Boxy Boo, he could be the one to help us defeat him. If Kissy Missy was willing to join our team, then that means there's other toys out there against the prototype. If the situation was different, Dog Day would have joined our team without any hesitation. Chapter 4 might continue the tradition of meeting new potential allies. If we don't get the reveal of Ollie's identity, then the chances of him being Boogiebot will only grow. In the orientation book, we actually do get to see the green VHS tape one more time. Maybe this was done intentionally, to keep this fresh in the players' minds. After all, the Ollie is the security system theory all stems from the green VHS tapes. The molding room is where we manufacture parts for the grab packs. Our orphans will need to use grab packs to play the games, but if their grab pack is faulty, they may be upset or frustrated, so you can make it into an extra treat for them by bringing them down here to make a replacement hand themselves. At Playtime Co., we can always turn a disaster into a good time. As well as manufacturing the green grab pack hand in this room, we keep an informational VHS tape that explains what the hand does. Please watch this tape if you've never used the green hand before. It's a little different. You can activate the equipment in here by pulling the lever on the wall, then use the control panel hitting the buttons from right to left. Make sure the pipework is all operational as you go through the process. This page of the book seems a little out of place when you compare it to the previous pages. It might be a hint that this green VHS tape is more significant than we thought. Let me know in the comments whether or not you think Boogiebot will be in Chapter 4. Is he actually Ollie or will he be one of the final bosses? Don't forget to check out these videos on the screen and stay tuned for more Poppy Playtime content.